Hi, Hempstead Juniors. It's Miss Cox from the Hempstead Counseling Office. I am coming to you to give you some information that you might have already had in your junior appointment, but many of you I know have not been able to have your junior appointment, especially if you've been in my division, D through HA. We are just getting started, and uh, while I'd rather be doing this in person, I'm glad to have the opportunity to provide some information to you, show you a couple of different resources, and hopefully answer some questions that you might have. At the end of this video, there will be an opportunity for you to fill out a survey through Excel with some basic information, and that's an, another place for you to let us know if you have some more questions, if you want uh, your counselor to reach out to you to answer questions, to provide, I would say, more individualized attention towards what some of your goals would be. So please know that while this video is for everybody, you will have an opportunity if you need some individual support at the end of this video, okay? Um, before I get started, I just wanna say that I miss you very much. I um, it's hard to imagine that we will not see each other again until next year um, in the fall, but I am happy that we can be home and be safe. And for those of you that are working right now, thank you so much for keeping my family and I safe at this time. And we, I really appreciate you and what you're doing for Dubuque, Iowa right now. So with that said, I'm going to jump right in. There's four main things that I want to accomplish today. One, I want to show you our, our website and show you how to navigate that with the resources available. Two, I wanna remind you of the Cooter Navigator. So this is a website and tool that you have been introduced to, so I wanna show you how that can be useful in deciding what to do after high school. Three, I wanna talk a little bit about if you do plan on going to college, what are some things you need to know about? So for example, ACT and college visit and show you a college search tool. Four, I want to just briefly, I would say, summarize next step in regards to your scheduling, picking out classes that you've done, and um, what that might look like in the summertime and in the fall. I have my notes next to me, so I'm going to keep looking back and forth to make sure I don't forget anything. And my hope is to make this 10 minutes. So with that said, getting started. I'm going to take you right to our Hempstead website right now and show you some of the resources that are available to you. I'm going to do this. Make me a little bigger so you can see me. There I am. All right, so I'm going home to Hempstead's website. I'm going to students, and underneath students, you can see there is the counseling office. So we're gonna go right to the counseling office. And this will be a good tool for you to use maybe now, if you have questions, definitely as you're coming into your senior year. Um, at the top right here are some links to take you to the form, so for example, driver's ed, credit requests, transcript requests, athletic exemption, all of these forms are online and on our website. These are also kept in behind our, behind our door in our office, but if you need a form, if you know you need to turn something in, this is a place to find them. The student parent handbook I wanna show you. During this appointment, if we were in person, we would be spending some more time going through the 11th grade parent handbook I'm gonna let you go through this at your own pace. I do wanna highlight a couple pages in here though. One of them, oh, that's not the page I wanna highlight. One of them is just a review of all the graduation requirements. Luckily, counselors were able to come into your US history classes when you were picking courses for senior year. And so you were able to go into your transcript through Infinite Campus, look at all the credits you've earned, I know you've worked very hard, and see which credits you still needed to earn to get to that magic number of 46 for graduation. This is a good reminder of all of those credits and how you get to graduation. You've already picked your classes, your counselors have looked over those classes. In the fall, or I guess August, when you receive your course schedule, it's very important that you look at your transcript at the end of your junior year to make sure that no credits have gone missing. Mistakes happen, we're humans. This is a team effort to make sure that you're getting uh, the opportunities to earn all 46 credits that you need to. So for example, if you need two fine arts credits and you've only taken one class and next year on your schedule, you don't have another fine arts class, you have to come see your counselor. We need to get another class in there for graduation. So this is a good page for you to see. There's also pages on here in regards to making some decisions after high school, if it's going into the military, if it's looking at college, if it's looking at an apprenticeship program. So this is a really good thing for you to review. I'm gonna go back home and right away, um, 
I'm going to go to our meet our team page. So if you need to reach out to your counselor and you're not quite sure how to do that, this is a link to all of us and our, our email addresses are there. And this is a very quick way to drop us a note. We would love to hear from you. We're on our computers, checking email, reaching out to students quite a bit right now. So this is how you can get to us. Okay, going back home. I'm gonna spend some time today during this career and college planning tab. So this is where quite a few of those links and resources I've mentioned are gonna be hidden. Before I do that, I just wanna drop down here, let you know that we have a Twitter account that you can follow us on Twitter. We also just started an Instagram page. So we're Hempstead Counseling on Instagram. I'll link that here eventually too, but if you do have Twitter, if you do have Instagram and you want, want to follow us, we are going to be putting out a lot of information in regards to scholarship opportunities. I would say links to resources. We'll post if there's job openings. We're just going to give some positive message messages to you, but this is a good way to stay connected to us. So that's my shout out. All right, career and college planning. On this page, you're gonna find some links, and each of these images is a link, to a variety of websites that are gonna help make your decision about life after high school a little easier. This is pretty college focused, the top part, in regards to college visits, and so um, I'll come back to that. ACT, if you're going to a four-year college, you need to take that ACT, ACT test, so this would be a link, and if you click on it, you can go right into the ACT website. You will actually create an account, and you sign up for the ACT on this website. Um, right now, it's a little unique because ACT tests have been canceled to, to keep everybody safe, but they will start back up again, and so you can find out right away, you know, hey, June 13th, next ACT date, register by May 8th, so if you want to register, you would click on register, you're going to give your information, it's going to ask you a variety of questions about high school and your classes, and then at the end, it will, you'll have a ticket that you'll actually end up printing out and taking with you to your college, uh, excuse me, your ACT testing site. So in Dubuque, that's Loris College. Those tests are given on Saturday. Um, you're going to want to keep your cell phone at home, take your ticket, and then, uh, yeah, all the information's on there. So that's what this screen would look like. So you'll create an account. It does not take long at all. So again, for ACT, you're going to go to ACT's website, and you're going to create an account. ICANN is another place, Iowa College Access Network, that's going to provide information in regards to financial aid, college planning, career planning. They have quite a few webinars and videos right now posted to give as much information as possible. This is a very good one as you're planning for college, as you are making those plans, especially as a senior. It's good to know. Um, Big Future, I want to talk a little bit about. So, Big Future is a website that I've shown some students that have. Uh, I would say found it to be pretty useful. If you go to the search for colleges, you can actually start to filter out different colleges based on location, your major, and your interests. So it's, you can see it's going to start with um, quite a few colleges, and, and not all colleges are represented in here, but this is a, it's a good, I would say a good selection. And so you can start narrowing down all your choices. If you say you want a four-year college, um, if you say that you want a private college, you can see right here it's going to start getting rid of, get rid of some of the colleges that would not meet your needs. It's also helpful. You can also narrow down by location. You can narrow down by majors. So if you know, for example, that you really want to go into a business, to, business school and um, you want maybe an ROTC, you want to study abroad and have an opportunity to earn credit somewhere else. If English as a second language is important, you can see right away it's starting to get more and more schools are narrowed down. So once you have your list of colleges that would meet your individual needs, then you can start exploring. And, and it's just going right to clicking on the college. It's going to give you a quick snap um, shot of information so some facts about financial aid and size and location and if you think you know I want I want to go here I want to visit this college then you can go to their website and you can actually set up college visits and I picked Boston University so that would be a fun one to go to um, and so what you're actually looking for on their website is just something about like come visit us um, you know, introduce yourself. So I'm just gonna go on this page and see if I can find some of those clue words. So I'm gonna go to admissions. 
And every college website is a little different. So every college is going to have their own way to set up a visit. So I'm just going to come in here. This might not have been the best school to do, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with this one. Let's go to academics. Um, anything about visit colleges? Well, I'm not seeing off the top of my head, but I can maybe search it. Let's search for visit campus. You're actually going to set up a visiting um, a day for you so you can schedule a visit. And right now, quite a few colleges are actually offering some virtual tours. It might be a good opportunity to preview some colleges that maybe you would never be able to get on campus. In the fall, when you do have an opportunity to get on campus, you can start to, I would say, pick which days are best for you and your family. It's always good to go with somebody. Um, maybe even another student or a friend of yours can go with you, but you can set it up. So you can schedule your visit. Again, it's gonna ask your information, ask you which days you can go, and then this gets connected to a representative from the college. So they can reach out to you and um, provide you some information. Okay, enough with that. That's a college visit. That took a little longer than I expected. <laughs> I'm going back to our website. Another opportunity for college visits are, we do have rep representatives from different colleges coming to Hempstead, and they'll come in our counseling office, and they'll meet with small groups of kids, and this is a perfect time to ask some questions, to get information, just to listen. There's no pressure at all to go to that college, but it's a good opportunity to just gain more information. The more information you can get, the better, I would say, prepared you are to uh, make that plan. Okay, so I've talked about ACT. I've talked about college visits. I showed you Big Future to narrow down some of those choices. I showed you on our website that junior handbook that could be very handy to preview. I've talked to you a little bit about Twitter and Instagram so that way you know how to stay connected to us. Ooh, I know what I was going to talk to you about. One thing I want to remind you of is the Cooter Navigator. So you can access this through Hempstead's homepage under students and you're going to go to Clever and once you log into Clever the same way you log into your computer you're going to see an icon. It looks like a little compass. That would be Cooter Navigator. And once you click on that, it's gonna take you right to a screen that looks similar to this. Some of the newer versions have a little different heading, but it's gonna look really similar to this. Hopefully you've taken the career, the skills, and the values inventories. These three quick assessments are gonna narrow down, uh, I would say all the choices in regards to occupations and majors. So your interests, you know, what do you like to do? What gets you excited your skills what are you good at and then your values oh and it bumped me out I'm gonna go back to that so what are your values um, what's important to you what kind of workplace do you want to work in okay so once you do those three things and I'm gonna log back in really fast as a student so my screen will look a little bit closer to your screen all right, so once you've done those three inventories and if you haven't done them in a while this is a really good time to do them because as you know your skills, your interests, and your values, they all change over time. So it would not hurt to do this again. So once you do that again, you can see it's going to narrow down, I would say, your kind of like your top results. And so based on when I did this, some of my top results, big surprise, are teaching and training, um, community services, professional support services, and early childhood development. I starred the three, oh, and counseling, number five, that's good too. Um, I started the ones that were most interesting to me, and that would help me then uh, even narrow down my results a little bit more. So once you do that, you have your top pathways, you can dig into these even more to find out like, what is that about? What would I actually be doing in that career field? What would be some of my occupations? What are my programs of study? This again, can help you narrow down, what do you wanna do after high school? You know, you might be interested in a career that does not need a four-year degree. It might need a two-year degree. You might be interested in a career that actually there's an apprenticeship program for. And apprenticeship programs are going to be learn and earn. So you're actually working while you're going to school. And especially if you're going into a field like, for example, plumbing or welding or electrician, any of the careers that are needed to, I mean, if you think about a building, like building from the ground up, all of those have apprenticeship programs attached to them. So you, again, you have an interest that you might not need that four-year degree or a two-year degree. You might want an apprenticeship program. So you can go right away into each of those careers. It will narrow down 
more information about it. So you can, again, play around over here, explore your majors, plan for education. You can search by occupation and majors. So I want to remind you, this is a really, really important tool that you have access to right, to right now that can help you make that decision. Okay, I'm going to come back here. So we've talked, <laughs> talked a lot, given you more, in, some information. The last thing I want to re review and remind you of would be your course selection. So we talked a little bit before about the summer when we have your schedule, we'll look to make sure all your credits are there. But I also want to talk quickly about opportunities that you would have through the college level to take dual credit classes. So for example, if you've maxed out classes at Hempstead High School, then you can take a college level course through one of the local colleges and earn credit. So if you love biology, you've taken the science classes, you want to do an environmental science class, you could possibly take that depending on your Iowa assessment scores, um, depending on if you've made sure that you've passed the classes at Hempstead. So the counselors have those forms for you electronically. So if you're interested in that, please send us an email, let us know on that survey, and then we can give that information to you and we can make a good plan for you, okay? I'm sure I forgot something, but I know I've gone over my 10 minute goal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end here. Um, please fill out that survey. Let us know how we can help you. We're on your team. We're here to support you. We miss you so much. I miss the hallway and the noise and the laughter and lunch room duty. I even miss lunch room duty. Um, hope you're well. Thanks for listening to me. Hopefully we reviewed something and you learned something new. All right, bye-bye.